Hi everybody, welcome to, what am I calling it? Amelyn Reed Lion Tear List. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, well, I've taken, I was gonna say all of the lies there. <laughs> we need multiple episodes uh, for that. Well, I've taken some, some of Amber's lies. And we're gonna rank them. We're gonna rank them from pathetic, to silly, to oh my, <laughs> to serious, to evil. Uh, it's obviously more serious and, and pathetic. Um, yeah, okay, let's get started. Right, we'll start with... We'll start with the first one. Egg. Nice, easy one to start. Amber said she had an egg allergy. And it's because I have an allergy to them. And then people called her out saying, you eat eggs all the time, you're not allergic. What are you talking about? So then she changed it to, well, I have an egg intolerance, which comes and goes. I have an egg intolerance. I was like, right, okay. Um, so where can we put that? Pathetic, it's pretty pathetic. I think we're going to get more pathetic -y ones, so we'll put it in silly. It's silly to lie about. You've got to... They could all be pathetic, really. Next one is... Oh, let's pick a good one. Oh, 20-piece nugget. That's it. That's a classic. Uh, Destiny, a girlfriend at the time, called her out on camera. She was Amber was meant to be eating healthy, I think, at the time. Destiny said, why did you eat a 20-piece nugget? Why do you have the golden arches in your hand? Why did you eat 20-piece McNugget? <laughs> and then Amber got Destiny to lie later saying, oh, it was just an inside joke, but I didn't really, she didn't really eat a 20 piece nugget. She did. Destiny said later, we all knew anyway, where can we put that? Pathetic. Oh. It might have fooled some people at the time. Uh, I'll put it in silly again. Okay. Let's pick a good one. All right, go on, we'll pick that one. Right. This one here, let's pick this one. On an Ask of M post, Amber admitted to lying and saying that her dad had passed away. What's the biggest lie you've ever told, uh, guys? Uh, that my dad died. Um, I never said my dad was dead. Never said that. <laughs> At all. And I think she did it for attention, sympathy. Was it attention? Might have been attention from somebody. Anyway, she said that her dad had died. He hadn't. But, uh, yeah. It could be any of them, couldn't it? It could be pathetic. So, yeah. Ooh, it's pretty serious. I mean, he didn't know about it. Did it hurt anybody? Ooh. I'll put it in, oh my. Maybe people think that's a bit more serious. Can you change it? No, you can. Uh, we'll stick it in. Oh my! A little bit shocking that one. What else can we go with next? Ooh, rings. Right. Those Harry Potter rings, yes. Amber admitted that uh, she lied about her girlfriend at the time, Beck, buying an engagement ring. Turned out Amber had bought it uh, and somebody caught her out. I lied here. I wanted to protect Becky. So that's a pretty good one. I like that one. Pathetic, silly, oh my. It's a bit silly. Is it pathetic to buy your own engagement ring? And then lie to her. Oh, it is pretty pathetic. Oh, I'm going to put it in silly. I want the pathetic ones to, to matter. To really mean something. <laughs> right, what can we do next? Oh, okay, let's do that one. Amber says she, she walks her dog, Twinkie. Doesn't, doesn't at all. We've seen Amber try to do a mile and it took her an hour. And uh, I think after like 15 minutes, she was amazed. She was like, oh my God, I've walked for 15 minutes. I'm like, oh, so your dog's not even getting walked for 15 minutes a day. Cause it was all new to her. She was so amazed and oh, Twinkie's loving it. Like, oh, that poor dog's not even getting 15 minutes a day. So it's all pathetic. I think that's pretty serious. Not walking your pet, not, yeah, go on. Yeah, put in serious. I think so. Let's pick another one. Ooh, okay, let's go with this one. Uh, it's a noose. Because one time, uh, Amber was getting sick of negative comments. That's a bit of a theme or something. Uh, Amber was getting sick of ne negative comments. So she came on camera saying she was thinking about uh, ending her own life. I don't think I can live anymore. I don't think I could. I almost felt like, what's the point of me living? You know what I'm saying? 
It's like, oh, why would you? Obviously, it's a lie. Ugh. Where can we put that one? Oh my, yeah. Serious? It's pretty serious. To lie about that didn't hurt him, did it though? I guess if you know somebody who's gone th through that and then she's like, oh. Although, was it evil to lie about that? Ooh. Oh, I don't know. This is harder than I thought. Evil, evil to lie about. They're all. Oh, man. It shouldn't be this hard. It's just a silly little game. Evil to lie about that. It probably is. I'm going to put it in serious. Tell you what, I'll change that to super serious. Super serial. Okay. There. I'm make it halfway. Super serious. Okay, let's do a, a nicer one. FBI. FBI Frank. Yes. Oh, negative comments again, yeah. She was getting negative comments, so she said um, the FBI got in touch. The FBI showed up for you. Um, she sent me a picture of, like, the card that the FBI gave her. The FBI said, contact her because we need to talk to her. She was trying to, she was trying to scare people off from leaving negative comments by, by saying the FBI were now a mate. Insane. Should have put insane on here. Pathetic. Serious. Silly. It's basically just a level, isn't it? Least serious, more serious. So where are we? Line up at the FBI. It's pretty pathetic because it was such an obvious one. Go on, we'll put it at silliest because it's, yeah. Such an obvious line, but she's still sticking to that one. So good on her, sticking to her guns. Uh, next one. I like that one. Uh, the seatbelt. The seatbelt in Destiny's car. Seatbelt in Destiny's car didn't fit, she said. No, no, she said it was broke. She said it was broken, but it actually didn't fit. But she eventually came out and confessed. People ask if I can wear a seatbelt. No, they don't fit me. So that's pretty silly. How serious is that? It's not at all, is it? It's pretty pathetic. But again, she didn't want people to think badly of... Uh, I'll go with silly. I actually think it's evil. I don't know. It's harder than I thought this. Hmm. Much harder than I thought. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we've got Nicolas Cage and John Travolta face off. Now this is to represent uh, Amber Lyon about the two wifeys. She got a girlfriend. Gave away who she was because she told us her last name. For some reason, put it in as the title to, to a live stream, Francis, and then, how did we find out the first name? Beck, Beck revealed it. I think she'd mentioned it before anyway. So people found out, okay, this is who your wife is. So then she pretended, sorry, lied. So then she lied saying, oh, we've broken up. And then immediately she got a new wifey, but it was exactly the same one anyway. And she would admit it uh, a few years later because people were just hounding her all the time going, admit this. Two wifeys is so pathetic. Yeah, it's pathetic. Because it was just so obvious. It was so obvious. Right. What can we do? I like that one. Ooh. This one. Blaming. Blaming Beck for cancer. Amber had cancer. And then would later do a post saying it, it was Beck's fault. Because she didn't care about me enough to... Some crap. Right. Oh. Is that evil? To blame your cancer? on somebody else when it's your response. It's poor, super serious or evil. How serious is it? Oh, this is really hard. I don't know why I care this much. It's just a silly little game. Where can we put it? It's definitely one of the top two, isn't it? Is it the more serious lie? You, I got cancer because of you. Go on, we'll have our first evil. Well done, no, I'm clapping. Well done. Really, really evil of you, Amber. Good job, buddy. Um, oh, there's a fun one. Facebook, Damon White. She went undercover. She used a fake account, somebody called Damon White, to see what people were saying about her in some Amber discussion group. Obviously, it was her. She got found out dead fast because the way she speaks and not the smartest way. So people knew it was her. And then she would admit to Geordie. Oh, to Geordie next. Well, uh, to Geordie that, yeah, she did that. How pathetic. Is that super serious or really? It's not serious at all, is it? It's really silly. It's pathetic. Yeah, it's pathetic, yeah. 
Uh, I went that one. Quite I said we'll do jump at the next one. Right? Geordie. Um, well, this is her saying she doesn't watch reaction channels, but then would use clips of them and repeat back things Karina Kaboom had said, or, or Geordie, or, or Zachary Michael. Never me. Never me. Um, so she says, yeah, I don't watch reaction channels, and then obviously she does. It's a pathetic, pretty much, but I'll put it in silly. Nice picture of you there, Jordy. Ooh, Einstein. This is when she said... Oh, I might make this into a few parts, actually. Um, this is when she said she had an IQ of... I think it was 140. Um, how does it feel having a bigger BMI than IQ? She said she was a genius. And people were going... I mean, she might believe this, or is it a lie if she believes it? Anyway, she, did, she doesn't have a... She doesn't have a IQ that high. I think once, yes, yeah, once she admitted she was in special ed class as well, and admitted that she just doesn't take in information very well. But I'm not the smartest. I went through a lot in school. Um, I was actually in special ed. It's not something I like to admit, but it's true. When I get taught things, it kind of doesn't absorb in my head like you know it would a normal person. But then later would say I'm a genius, and I. You know, Taking information really well. So, uh, lying about being a genius, like, oh, it's pathetic. Because it's just so, yeah. Pathetic. It's not, yeah, go on, put it pathetic. Let's get more serious right now. Oh, okay. Grips. And this is when uh, she accused her ex, Casey, of, on YouTube, of graping. Oh, ridiculous. Um, yeah, came out with this story. I think she was getting the most hate she had since she started the channel, I forget why now. But anyway, so she came out with, I was I was graped, told this story in the most unbelievably chirpy way. It was obviously a lie. Uh, and then Casey came out and said, eh? Um, so then Amber said, okay, it wasn't exactly that. It was something else. I was like, oh God, you can't just go around throwing the grape word around grape. YouTube, man. Uh, evil, I think that's a standard, yeah, dead easy one, that one, evil. Right, what can we do next? Uh, oh, go on, that's a, that's a classic. Uh, she got the wrong sandwich. <gasps> oh, they gave me the wrong sandwich. Oh, no. And she had the receipt and she said, Yep, there's a receipt, it's the wrong one, and then didn't show anybody. Um, that's a pretty silly one, isn't it? Pathetic to Autumn. Is it the most pathetic? It was a bit silly. We'll put it in silly, we'll put it in silly. Right, next one. Oh, let's go with... Oh, let's go with that one. Don't know, I'm not just doing them in order. Therapist. Uh, this is where she said she was diagnosed when she was 11 with everything. This this uh, female therapist diagnosed her with binge eating, OCD, everything, everything you can think of. Um, would later catch herself out by saying, oh, I wasn't diagnosed with this and I wasn't. People corrected her and then she went, oh, well, maybe the therapist just kind of mentioned it and I ran with it. <laughs> I took that, ran with it. And from that point on, I was like, oh, diagnosed with bipolar. Okay, right, fine. <laughs> So, saying she was diagnosed with loads of stuff. Is it shocking? It's pretty silly. It's pathetic to want to be diagnosed with things. Oh, maybe. Let's put it in pathetic. Go on, another one. Oh, pathetic's doing well. It is pathetic to want to have things wrong with you. People with OCD don't love it. People with binge eating don't love it. Um, but she wanted these things, anyway. Oh, this one. ASMR. She, before she started YouTube, told everybody she had ASMR. At the start of her YouTube career, said, I have ASMR. Two, I have ASMR. Three. As the channel got bigger, more people would watch and comment and say, you can't be diagnosed with ASMR, you nut job. What are you on about? And then she went, oh, I was just trolling. But she's, <laughs> fine, okay. And she's still sticking to that one again, so sticking to her guns. <laughs> It's pathetic because it's such an obvious lie. And then, yeah, so pathetic. I like that one. That might be one of my favorite lies she's done. Damon White and ASMR are right up there. But let's not forget. 
Now let's pick a serious one now. Oh, let's pick that one. Car crash. Uh, she said in a post, ah, uh, where was it? Tumblr? It might have been. Said in a post that her friend died in a car accident. And that's one of the reasons why she didn't want to learn to drive. Or she was scared to learn to drive. Because her friend died. It didn't happen. She was just getting sick of people saying, why don't you learn to drive? So she thought I'll pick something serious because her friend died. That's pretty... Mmm. Oh my, it's definitely all oh my level. Uh, to say that your friend had died. Oh, that's her saying her dad had died. Come on, we'll put it next to each other. That's a dad had died and a friend had died. Ugh, God. Oh, that's bad. Oh. I'll keep it in all oh my back. I'm probably wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, Gracie. Gracie the cat. Destiny's cat went missing as soon as Amber moved in. After Amber had been saved up for a new cat, made a post saying, Gracie will be gone soon. And then was. A lot of people think she had something to do with it. She says, no, I didn't. I think she did. I think most people do, I think. So, her lying. So is this about the lie or her doing it? Same thing, I guess. So this is her getting rid of Gracie. And then lying about it. Go on then. That's, yeah, evil. Evil, evil. Three for evil. Not bad. You're doing well, Amber. You're doing well. Um, what what all the other game shows can we play with uh, all this horrible stuff? Family Fortunes. Or Family Feud, I think it's called in America. Um, we asked 100 people, what is Amber's sexiest quality? Our survey says, nothing on the board. Uh, that, that wasn't too bad. Right. What's this one? Let's go with... Oh, go on. That's a silly one. Um, Amber saying her and wifey broke up and it was mutual. The only... I've used Seinfeld there because the only mutual breakup is uh, in Seinfeld. So she said it was mutual. Obviously it wasn't. That's pretty pathetic because obviously it wasn't. And it's obvious. It's so obvious it's pathetic. I think, again, she might believe it, you know. It's pathetic to say it was a mutual. You want to say face. I'll put it in. I'll put it in silly. Put it in silly. I'll be nice to her. Go on. We'll do, uh, Valentine's. Her latest lady friend. A lot of people think she's lying about. One that she doesn't exist. Or that uh, it's not as serious, serious as she's made out. I keep changing my mind. I think it's wifey now. Uh, old Feline. And then I think it's somebody new. But she's never met her. She definitely hasn't met her. Uh, but now I'm starting to think she's totally made up. So who knows? But there's, there's some lies going on. It's, I don't know where to put that one. Let's say she has made her up. She probably hasn't, but let's say she's made her up. That's pretty pathetic. Yeah, my girlfriend lives in Canada. That's pathetic. Okay. Ah, oh, pathetic might win this, you know. Okay. Oh, I'm really enjoying this. Don't care if you lot are. I'm, I'm loving it. Why have I put Muhammad Ali there? Why did I put Muhammad Ali there? Right, we'll come back to that. I don't know why I've put Muhammad Ali in there. Let's go with a nice easy one. Amber Lyon saying she's really into Pokemon. Or maybe wifey, um, Valentine isn't made up because all of, all of a sudden Amber now likes anime after mocking other girlfriends with it. Who like anime? With it. I've been diagnosed with anime. <laughs> and ASMR. Uh, pretending that she likes Pokemon. Hmm. It's a pathetic. If you want to impress your lady friend, if she's real, who knows? Put it in silly. Let's pick a tougher one. Oh, go on then. Closet. Casey told the story about uh, how he came out to his mum. And I put it in one of the Victims of an Empath episodes. Well, it must have been the first one. And Amber stole it. Amber stole the coming out story. Which is pretty... Ugh. It's definitely at least an oh my... Is it evil to pinch somebody's come? Oh, probably. It's not great to pinch somebody's coming out story. Pretty big moment in your life. I'll have that. Oh, is it serious? How so serious are we? Yeah, you're kind of take. You're not taking it away from them. Like you're pinching it. Oh my. Ugh. I'm gonna say it's pretty serious. Go on. We'll say. We'll say serious. They're all pathetic as well. <laughs> oh yeah, this is, we'll do this one. 
This is Amber saying she was essayed by uh, multiple men, her father's, father's friends, and she said uh, she kept changing between cousin and father's friends and mixed them up. Um, I said I was essayed by my father's friends. She said, no, they never touched me. And then in the next live said, yeah, they touched me. She's never explained why she said yes, they Oh, no, she's, she never explained why she said, no, they never touched me. It is confusing, isn't it? And yes, they did. Uh, one stream after the next. But I was never, like, I was never sexually or physically touched by my father's friends. No. They would, like, touch my leg, um, like, mess with my hair, like, put it behind my ear. I was never sexually or physically touched by my father's friends. No. Um, touch my arm, brush against me on like on purpose. Um, I was never sexually or physically touched by my father's friends. No. So, be nice to get an explanation why no, no one touched me. Yes, they did. And then she changed the word of assault to harassment. Changed words, which I think is a thing. Assault just means you made someone scared. Um. I remember seeing Amber Heard changing the definition of words when lies get caught out and they've got nowhere else to go. You just change the meaning of a, of a word, which is pretty good. Well done. Um, where was it? Lying, accusing father's friends. Oh, and she also said, admitted to lying about one of them because she said, oh, my cousin did it, but I said it was me dad's mate, singular, and said, yeah, I said that for ages, yeah, because I didn't want to say it. So anyway. <sighs> So we'll include that. It's a lying about. Well, it's definitely at least an oh my. It's pretty serious. Accusing somebody. If we had evil, isn't it? Don't know how to think about that. Eh, it's a bit silly. Eh. God, there, there are a few lies, though. It's taken longer than I thought, because there are quite a lot of lies. We'll do a few more, and then I'll do a part two, actually, because, yeah, it might take a while, this one. Oh, that's a good one. Go on, let's go with that. Dishwasher, sort of. Uh, she got a job working with Destiny. Said she got paid more than Destiny, I just saw. Got paid more than Destiny. But Destiny was looking after elderly people. Amber was doing kitchen help, helping out with the food, taking the food out at dinner times, and might have been washing dishes as well. Anyway, she was doing like four hours a week helping with the food. Lied said she got paid more. And Lied said she was said she was full time and looking after residents when she was just kitchen help really. Um so that one is pretty, where are you? It's at least pathetic. How serious is that one? It's a pathetic. Uh, they're all pathetic, we'll put it in silly. Uh, go on, let's do two more and then we'll, and then we'll come back to it uh, another time. Two more, what can we end on? Oh, Deanna Troy from Star Trek, who is an empath. Uh, Amber always says she's an empath, but then you, She's admitted to being a bully and bullying Beck and bullying everybody. So lie and say I'm an empath when she's actually pretty cruel. Allegedly. Oh my, no you're not. Ugh, it's a weird, how do you define this? We'll put it in silly, I don't know, I don't know. Like go on, one more, one more. Uh, why did I put Ali in there? I think it's something to do with name. Oh, we've not done shower. Oh, I thought I did shower. Amber uh, didn't shower for the whole of 2019. It was more than that. You can tell if you go back and watch, but you don't I'm not expect anybody to go back and watch. Um, yeah, said she didn't shower in 2019, but in 2019 would come on screen with damp hair and say, she got out of the shower, so would say that quite a lot. So I think that's pretty pathetic to, to come out and go, I've been showering when I haven't. It's a pathetic. She didn't want people to think that she smells. <sighs> we'll put it in silly. It's a bit silly, isn't it? Go on, we'll end it there. And we'll come back for another one. I quite like that. It's harder than it's harder than I thought. I thought it's gonna be dead easy. Evil, they're pretty easy. Really pathetic, they're quite easy. But in the middle, yeah. All right, we'll, we'll come back and do a part two as well. Um, but we'll end it there for now. Oh, I like that. Right. I think it's more game shows we can play. I, I'm really liking the game shows. Right. See you in part two.